please stand. As we gather to hear your words, we give you thanks for the truth you bring. Feel our minds, stir our hearts, move our being, nourish our spirits, make us one body with the living words of God. Make us one body with the living word of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us call to mind our sins and once again ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of all creation, who are pleased to give the Bishop St. Polycarp a place in the company of the martyrs, grant to his intercession that sharing with him in the chalice of Christ, we may rise to the Holy Spirit to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, come now, you who say, Today or tomorrow we shall go into such and such a town. Spend the year there doing business and make a profit. You have no idea what your life will be like tomorrow. You are puff of smoke that appears briefly and then disappears. Instead, you should say, if the Lord wills it, we shall live to do this or that. But now you are boasting in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. So for one who knows the right thing to do and does not do it, it is a sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Hear this, all you peoples. Hearken, all who dwell in the world. Of lowly birth or high decree. Rich and poor alike. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Why should I fear in evil days, when my wicked in his snares ring me round? They trust in their wealth, the abundance of their riches is their boast. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Yet in no way can a man redeem himself, or pay his own ransom to God. Too high is the price to redeem one's life. He would never have enough to remain alive, always, and not see destruction. Blessed are the poor in his spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. For he can see that wise men die, and likewise the senseless and the stupid pass away, leaving to others their wealth. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Please stand. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. John said to, his, to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone driving out the demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow us. Jesus replied, Do not prevent him. There is no one who performs a mighty deed in my name who can at the same time speak ill of me. For whoever is not against us is for us. May dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Alam ho natin yung prinsipyong kung ano ang salita dapat napapakita sa gawa. Kung palawakin po natin ang kasabihang ito, maaari nating sabihin kung ano yung estado mo sa buhay, dapat naiisabu, naisa sa buhay mo ito. Kung ikaw ay may asawa, dapat naipapakita mo sa iyong mga kilos at gawain yung pagiging asawa, pagiging ina o pagiging ama. Kung ikaw ay may posisyon, dapat din ay naisa sa buhay mo ito sa pang-araw-araw mo. Kaya kung ano yung naisa sa buhay, kung anong estado meron ka, eh dapat na ipapakita sa lahat ng ating ginagawa. Kaya ito yun ang sinasabi sa Ebanghelyo, nakikita ng mga apostoles na may gumagawa ng katulad ng kanilang pagsasabuhay. Nais nilang pigilan, subalit sinasabi ng ating Panginoon sa kanila, huwag silang pigilan sapagkat whoever is not against us is for us. Kaya inaasahan din sa ating lahat mga kapatid na tayo mong lahat ng mga katoliko, mga kristyano, tayo ay nangako ng isa sa buhay ang pananampalatayang ito sa pagsasabuhay nito pang araw-araw. Tayo ay nangako sa pamamagitan ng sakramento ng binyag na tayo ay mamuhay bilang mga kristyano, mga anak ng Diyos. Kaya kung ano man ang estado natin bilang mga kristyano at anak ng Diyos, ito yung hamon sa ating lahat. Dapat, isa sa buhay natin ito in every moment of our life. Kaya ito yung hamon sa atin magandang paalala. Baka nakakalimutan minsan, nakakaligtaan minsan, o hindi man minsan madalas, ingat tayo sa paminsan-minsan. Minsan-minsan, baka naman habang buhay, hindi magtatagal, madalas na yan. Kristiyano ako, katoliko ako, dapat sikapin natin isa buhay ang mga prinsipyo ng pagiging kristiyano. Nawa, ang pagiging kristyano natin ay maipapakita una sa lahat sa ating mga salita. Nang sa gayon, ito rin ay maisa sa buhay natin sa pamamagitan ng ating mga gawain. Alam ko mahirap, may mga pangahailangan tayo, minsan nadadala lalo-lalo na sa gitna ng pagsubok, kahirapan, pagdating ng mga pagsubok tungkol sa finansyal, material na bagay, pero sana mga kapatid, sa pamamagitan ng Ibanghelyong ito, ay maalala natin kung gaano kahalaga ang pagsasabuhay consistently. Ang manatiling tapat sa pangako. Ang mananatiling tapat sa ating pananampalataya. Isang magandang paalala sa ating lahat. Kaya mga kapatid, Simple lang po ang palala sa atin ng Ibanghelyo. Ang mananatili tayong tapat sa ating mga pangako. Mananatili tayong kaisa ng ating Panginoong Diyos. At sa pamamagitan po ng sakramento ng binyag, tayo po ay kaisa sa kanyang misyon. Nawa sa pang-araw-araw nating buhay ay maisa sa buhay din natin ito. Yung pakikiisa natin sa misyon ng ating Panginoon. Una, ang pagpapalaganap ng mabuting balita. Pangalawa, ang pagsasabuhay nito, mismong pagiging tapat 
sa ating pananampalataya. Si at ang ating mahal na inang si Maria ay isa pong is, naging simbolo ng katapatang ito. Na kahit dumaan man sa pagsubok, tila bagang pinabayaan siya, matapos nagdalang tao, kita mo naman tuloy-tuloy yung pagsubok, kailangan niyang umalis nito, at kahit mismo sa pagluwal na anak ng Diyos, nahapakahirap sa ating mahal na inang, iluluwal niya ito sa sabsaban ng mga hayo. It wasn't easy for her, and yet, nananatili siyang tapat sa kanyang estado. Nananatili siyang tapat sa pangako. Kaya mga kapatid, alam ko, minsan naisip natin bakit yung ating kapitbahay, kap bakit yung ibang tao, sa gana. Sige lang, tsaga lang. Kinakailangan natin magtsaga sapagat mismo ang pananampalataya nangangahulugan ng tunay na pagtsatsaga at pasensya. Yun mismo ang nilalaman ng ating pananampalataya. Kumbaga, sinisimulo nito yung krus. We need to carry the cross for this is the only way for us to deepen our faith and more importantly, to sustain our faith. Please stand. Our Master teaches us that discipleship means a radical rejection of evil. We pray with the intention of making sacrifices to follow the Lord. And for every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the Church may effectively preach the Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may grant us the gift of forgiveness, reconciliation, and healing of hurts caused by division and bickering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That there may be greater appreciation of the goodness of people as a channel of God's Spirit at work in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the old, the lonely, the handicapped, and the sick may be strengthened by the warmth of our caring presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our friends who have died and have come before us may share in the peace and happiness of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, Help us to see all people through thy eyes. Grant us breath of mind and generosity of heart to accept what is good from whatever source. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray. 
that by your grace we may be set afire with the flame of your love, through which St. Polycarp overcame every bodily torment. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant a firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours, to the Christ our Lord. And therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Polycarp, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distresses we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. And we shall say, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, craft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, the genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us the determination which made your blessed martyr, St. Polycarp, faithful in your service and victorious in suffering. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended, we go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of all your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health 
through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may all your rosaries, candles, and all religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.